Lads, I'm making a dumb decision. I'm making a really, really dumb decision. And I bought chat for 70,000 MT for the sake of this video. So please, lads, leave a like. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have the pain meds gone to my head. They probably freaking have, lads. They probably freaking have. But it doesn't matter. We just paid a lot of legal tender in my team for Chad Holmgren. For a card with 45 strength. 40, is it 45 strength? Um, Bull Bull sucks, by the way. Don't ever run Bull Bull in your team. I'm just putting it out there. Don't run Bull Bull. He's terrible. But Chet, the Chet man, Chet Holmgren, 83 three ball, 80 driving dunk, ball handle 69 is not awful, terrible passing actually, which does, isn't very good, 92 block, not good perimeter defense, decent interior, good speed, decent lateral, like he's way better than Bobo, just putting that out there, he's way better than Bobo. Um, how to shoot chase down artist? Dream Shape post spin. He's got drop stepper, anchor, box up beast and bronze interceptor. Like obviously he's not worth 70k. He's about 20k at Sapphire. And I don't think he's that bad for 20k. If you cause he's an easy Evo. I chat is a he's blocks. Which means you can probably have him Evoed in an hour if you retry. Especially because he comes with like is it 90 off rip? He comes with a decent block off rip. This release is weird. Every time you catch it, it feels different. And a lot of people are like, oh, but like that's just the way the game's programmed. Like, yeah, it is an intentional program. The issue is, is that like some players get very consistent catches where every different catch feels almost the same, whereas some guys feel completely different. Where Anchet is somebody who fumbles around with the ball quite a lot in catches. Like when you catch it in that animation, he's good. When you catch it in any other animation, it's a really slow, like, fumble around with it. Um, he gets basic leaner. Do you have any, like, behind the backs or anything? His, his tween is nice. His between the legs is nice, so if he is dribbling the ball. Like, you're not want to, you're not going to want to dribble with him unless it's in transition, really. No, man, that bird. Oh, that cross. What crossover is that? What crossover is that, lads? I need to look that up. That is the normal moving crossover. And uh, between the legs of... It's normal. So normal seems to be the freaking cheese. Oh, that's the, that's the burst crossover. Okay, Chad's going to be him later on here. I just want to put it out there. And he's got the pro behind the back as well, like... No, if you can get Chet into, like, behind-the-back animations into crossovers, Chet's actually going to move really fast. Again, I don't think we're going to be looking at this Chet doing that, but I think when we get that Pink Diamond Galaxy Opal Chet Holmgren, we're going to be looking at Chet being, like, a rim-running power forward, which could be really, really good. So, anyway, that's green three. Okay. There we go. Now, let's get on to the game. Now let's get on to the fucking game, lads. So Chet Holmgren is an interesting, interesting player anyway. So we're going to the clutch time online. Let's not get reset. We got res we lost the last game because Bull Bull is just awful. Bull Bull is James off. And I also played against a dude on the leaderboard who was elite. He was absolutely elite. But let's go. Kevin Garnett, Mello, J.R. Smith, Chet Holmgren. And... Uh, Derek Rose. So, a win here would be nice. It makes us a little bit, it keeps us a little bit more safe in terms of, well, trying to not get ourselves relegated or get ourselves reset because we really don't want to do that. Hopefully, by the end of today, I can get the 30 games to go and I can bang it. You can bang it 30 plus time wins in a day. That's not a, that's not too difficult a challenge. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can find a game. Because, lads, it is like 9 p.m. in in Ireland time. And if you guys know anything about Europe, trying to find a game at any time of the day is grim. So, lads, I'm going to give it like five more seconds, ten more seconds, and then I'm going to cut off. And I will be back when we actually find a game, which could be 10 minutes, could be 30 seconds, it could be 20 minutes. Okay, that took about two minutes or so. So it wasn't that bad finding that game. 
So we are playing against Finley Ja. Wow. He's got Ja on his team, and he's still running with Scotty Barnes. Now, that is a either a seriously ballsy player or a scrub. It's one or the other. It's either a really good player who's incredibly ballsy or he's a bomb. There's no in between and with this one. And he's left Kevin Garnett kind of open for three. And we blow it and Chet does not get the board. I just realized I don't even have a lock in this lineup. Good steal. Let's run. Chet do not get swatted from behind here. But you didn't even get swatted. You just dropped the ball. Chet dunking on him. Good. I was like, Chet didn't even get swatted. He was wide open for a dunk and he just dropped it. Steal. And then he nearly stole the ball with his ass while jumping away from the ball. So, I mean, all is well that ends well, I guess. Oh, that's a bad shot. Timing was good, though. Give me that, Chet. Give me that one, Chet. Give me that one, Chet. Holmgren for three. Come on. Chet is better in bowl bowl solely because, well, first of all, he's better. And he can also play power forward. Like, Chet... His player build is nice, but he just got walked through by Giannis. Like, Giannis didn't even go around him. He went through his body. Jam KG. We're not. We're not. Like, it's not like we're in a, a must-win game or anything after losing the last one. And Chet Holmgren does not stop him scoring to getting the dunk. Oh, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? Chet. Okay, we're good. Give me that. Green me. That's not a red. That was definitely not a red. Good steal. Let's run. Okay, hit JR. I wish Chet was moving at a little bit of a better pace. And Chet Holmgren gets swatted and then doesn't catch the rebound and then commits the transition take because I panicked and pressed the square button. Chet, like, that was pathetic. First of all, you missed a point blank layup. Then you missed a point blank rebound. Whatever, chat. Chat, you're meant to be able to play defense. Chat sucks. I'm just putting it out there. Both of these. Chat is not, he's not as bad as Bobo, but he's not very good. That is a brick if I've ever seen one. And we miss another rebound. This dude's not good. And it's the worst part of it, so I'm going to lose to this dude. And I think I might comfortably lose to this dude. Because I can't score to charge. Alright. I can't actually score right now with Chet. Because Giannis Antetokounmpo is better in every way than Chet Holmgren. Except Chet's a better, a little bit of a better shooter. Actually, no. He's quite a bit of a better shooter. Green me. Steal. Game doesn't like getting steals either. But if, it's the, if you're the CPU charge... Really, he's gotten two of those in this game. Alright, Chet. Stop being a scrub. That's all we want from you, Chet Holmgren. Is to just stop being an absolute bum. And we'll win this game. Pop. Pop hard. That's you. You own! Oh, I turned the soldier boy right there. Chet Holmgren! That is pathetic, man! That is so pathetic! Oh my god, Chet! Literally, we slowed him down. We slowed down Giannis. All you had to do was block the damn ball, Chet. The one thing you're meant to do when you don't do it. He's got me. Dunk it, Chet. Good, Chet. Come on. You genuinely are worse in every way than Giannis. But come on, we can still win this game. All right, I'm not running through Chet anymore. I need to win this game. Chet. That's the game, just not letting me switch icons fast enough. That's fine. My players love not being able to catch the ball. <laughs> like, the only player who caught the ball properly there was Kevin Garnett. Oh, he's got backdoored. The freaking backdoored. Please sit in the zone. Chat, do not get swatted here. Good, Chat. Come on. Go long, go long, go long, go long, go long. Because I can wait in the middle. I can wait in the middle here. Do not leave Michael Finley. Whatever you do, do not leave. He's he's, he's there. He's there. Chat. 
Chet finally blocks a shot. Oh my god, Chet. You block a shot and then you won't just grab the ball. The ball's there to be grabbed and you won't grab it. Chet Holmgren, you have single-handedly been the reason we're losing this game. Well, that's ridiculous. Now, Derek Rose choosing not to dunk it there is a bit ridiculous. Especially because I specifically tried to trigger the dunk meter. And they go and dunk it on us again. Oh, lads. This is a bad one here. This is a bad one here, but it's fine. Sometimes, sometimes you just lose to the game. This is one of those times Chet with the slowest catch animation I've ever seen. Oh, man. He just, he can't even get consistent catches in this game. And I get it. His stamina is a little bit low. He's, like, he's got a little bit low stamina, but he was fully green there. Like, Chet's hit two moving threes. Two big moving threes. And then the game took us out of the press at the exact time we wanted to stay in the press. He's in a triangle cut me somewhere. I can live with him hitting that. Good shot. We had to give up something. Because we needed a fast break possession there. And we've now lost two games in a row. Chet sucks. I just really want to put it out there. Chet genuinely sucks. He's The strength is such a big factor in the game this year. And his release is mediocre at best. His three ball is pretty nice. But like you can get significantly better dudes that are 6'10 than him at power forward. Like there is literally nothing to Chet Holmgren other than playing help side defense does better than Robert Ory. Like Chet is not good. I cannot stress that enough lads. Chet is not good. And for anyone in the comments being like oh I use Chet you just suck with him. So you're not wrong, but also if you ran chat against me, I would get this guy and drop step him. Every single possession, Chet will be into the stand and it will be a basket. Chet is probably in like the top. He's not as good as Paolo Bancaro. The only reason he's better than Jabari Smith is that Jabari Smith's um, player build is so tiny. But. Hopefully he sells for that. But that is the most disappointed I've been in a, in a card. He's better than Bobo. Like, Chet is not very good. But, like, this is a legitimate garbage man. Like, this is a garbage man, right? It isn't even, like, a bad player. It's a garbage man. But at the same time, I can even, like, at least see. I can at least see the kind of appeal in a Bobo. He's a better shooter than Chet. I mean, 65 strength versus 45 is huge. And obviously, we're going to buy in chat right here. Um, that's what I have this VC for is because I want K Cunningham. Because like, I couldn't get, give a damn about Chet Holmgren. Couldn't give a damn about Johnny Davis, even though freaking back in hell. Like, like how the hell am I meant to Evo up? Like, John, I'm going to have to play Johnny Davis, Benedict Mather, and, and Dyson Daniels through my clutch time offline run. Hope to God they just get steals at the CBU. Um, Jalen Williams shouldn't be too bad to even either should chat. But um, yeah, so in terms of the only card that I want is, out of all of these, the only one that I really want is Kay Cunningham. And then we've, like, the blocks are fine, the assists are fine. It's those damn steals. It's those damn steals. The only thing is he does come with, is he, please tell me he comes with glove. Please tell me he comes with glove. If he doesn't come with glove, I'm going to be incredibly pissed. Please, please tell me he comes with glove. I know he's primary small for it, isn't he? Nope, primary shooting guard. Please tell me he comes with glove. Just make it easy for us once. We have another steal. We've had five steals, Evos, and none of the five players have had glove, lads. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Chat sucks, though. Chat really sucks.